Hi guys, Mr. T here. This is, I believe this, what, what you're about to see are the same or very similar questions um, to what are in exercise nine, which I promised to make a video of. So here it is. This is called accusativos cum infinitivo. And basically, um, I mean, you look at the example here, you see albinos clama, right? Al Al albinos shouts. When that that is basically a a direct sort of statement, you could say, Albinus shouts. And then when we introduce this question, what does Lydia hear? Lydia hears Albinus shout is basically the answer in English. But in Latin, this is done with an accusative and an infinitive. So, quid li Lydia out it? Lydia out it. Albinum and clamare. We don't see Lydia audit albinum clamat. Um, the, the Romans use an infinitive in this situation, and this is sort of called an indirect statement. Like Albinus shouts, again, is a direct statement. You're making a, a, a direct, clear statement about what somebody is doing. But in this case, it's sort of reported secondhand, you could say. Lydia hears that Albinus shouts, something like that. So let's go through a couple of these. And um, well, there we already did this one, but you know, I'll put it in again. So Albinos clamat, Albinos shouts, quid Lydia out it? Lydia, and we'll do it in this format. Lydia albinum clamare, whoop, clamare out it. So Lydia hears Albinos shout with the infinitive. Let's see if it's right. Correct. Okay, let's try a couple more. Now, sacos a siro aperitor. The sack is opened by Cirrus. That's the direct statement. And then we have this question here which says, quid puer videt? What does the boy see? So again, we're going to start with the boy. And sooner or later, we'll have sees at the end of this. But we're going to take what was the subject of this direct statement, which is sacos, and we're going to make it into an accusative, sacum. A siro does not change. That's just a prepositional phrase that doesn't get changed at all. But now what do we need here? Because we look here and we see aperitor is a passive verb. So in this circumstance, we are going to use, wait for it, a passive infinitive. So aperiri. Puer sacum a siro aperiri, and then we go back to the main verb, which is videt. So literally, the boy sees the sack is opened by cirrus. And we're good again. Try one more, maybe two more. Sacos plenos est. The sack is full. What does the boy see? Puer. We take the, what was the subject again, the sacos. It becomes accusativos, sacum, and now also this plenos, since since, since uh, excuse me, since it modifies the sacos, is also going to get converted to accusativos, and the infinitive of est, which I'm not sure if we've talked about or not, but it's it's definitely showed up somewhere I think. The infinitive of est is esse. It's an irregular, weird sort of verb. It doesn't have an are or an ere or an ire. It's just esse. And then we go back again to the main verb, which is videt. So once again, the boy sees that the sack is full. Sacum plenum esse, videt. Check. We're good. One more. Hopefully you can get this from uh, these four examples. Julia canit. Julia sings. What do the boys hear? Quid pueri audiunt. We will start with the pueri. We take Julia. She becomes accusativus. Canit. If you check out that handout I gave you on verbs, you'll see that the infinitive for canit is not canire, but canere. Um, and then... Back to the main verb once again, plural because of the plural boys. Audiunt. Pueri, Juliam, Canre, Audiunt. And we are good once again. So that's four out of the, I, I believe it's 11 questions in that exercise nine. Hope this helps. Uh, if not, 
Um, I'm not sure what to do tonight, but you're free to contact me, okay? All right, take care.